Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video and welcome again to another uh, review and first impression on some new makeup that I recently spotted. So yesterday I actually went to Walgreens to pick up some medication for my little one because she's been sick and while I was waiting for her medicine to be ready, I just happened to stumble upon the makeup aisle. <laughs> So as always, I was looking for new makeup and I came across some new products from Wet n Wild, which I immediately snatched. I'm like, yes, you, 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 you're coming home with me. Um, I have seen some videos floating around YouTube about the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which is this one right here. And then I also picked up the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Concealer along with a cream cushion bronzer and a cream cushion highlighter so I will be putting these to the test today on my face I also noticed that they had um, the highlighting powders back in stock so I snatched this one because this is the only one that I needed to add to my hoarding collection of highlighters so if you guys want to see how these products work if you want to see if I like them or not stay tuned till the end and let's go ahead and get started so this is what the packaging looks like. It's a cute little glass bottle and it says foundation, um, photo focus by Wet n Wild. And as you can see, it has the new sticker. Um, so on the back, it kind of says like goodbye photo flashback. It helps eliminate white particle reflections and supposedly it's tested under like numerous lights. So um, the color that I picked up is called Desert Beige, which... I hope matches my skin it looks like it will as always on one side of my face I'm going to be testing it out with a um, brush and then on the other side of my face I will be testing it out with a beauty blender oh so it comes like this and I am just going to smear it on one side of my skin I am wearing a white shirt I don't know what I was thinking So with my Beauty Blender, I am just going to press this against the skin. The coverage is definitely more on the medium to full side. Um, it did cover pretty much everything as far as like imperfections, redness, what have you. Now I'm just going to grab a little bit more and apply it on this side. I'm going to use this brush by Real Techniques. It's a limited edition brush. It's a stippling brush. And I'm just going to use that to press it against the skin. So the finish of it is actually really pretty. Um, I do, it does feel a little bit tacky. So I do feel like I need to set it with a, um, a powder foundation because it does feel tacky to the touch. I absolutely love the finish and the coverage. I would say that it's medium coverage. Um, it's not full. Nah, it's in between medium and full, but it doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It feels very natural. Um, and I would say it's more of a semi-matte finish. It's not super matte, but it's not very dewy either. So, so far so good. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the concealer. And this is what it looks like. It's actually pretty cute. I did swatch it on the back of my hand yesterday when I got it. And it looks pretty promising. I picked up the color Medium Tawny. So we will see. Um, when I swatched it yesterday, it felt like a very full coverage concealer and I'm super excited about that. I'm just going to apply this as I normally would. Mm. 
And the color is actually not too dark. It's not bad at all. I'm also going to apply that to the chin, the center of the forehead, and down the bridge of my nose. It's a doe foot applicator, which I really like. But the only thing is that I do have to go in a few times and keep applying the concealer. Um, it doesn't cover enough for just a one swipe type of thing. You know what I mean? So anyway, I am going to use my beauty blender to blend out my concealer because that's what I prefer for my concealer. Wow, that blended out really, really nicely. Okay, this concealer blends out like a freaking dream. It's so easy to blend out and it's not creasing on me. Which, I have a whole bunch of wrinkles underneath my eyes. And for something not to crease on me so quickly, girl, it's bomb. The concealer is definitely on the full coverage side, which I love because I love full coverage concealers. And it blended out so nicely on the skin. I really, really like it. I'm really impressed. With the, with the concealer, it's good. It's really good. They also had these on display and these were so cute, like I had to pick them up. As you can see, these are also new. This is a cushion um, highlighter and this is a cushion bronzer. So oh, I'm excited to try these again. I did swatch these on the back of my hand and they looked amazing. They do come with a little spongy thing, which I personally don't really care for these just because of you know they're like really silicone -y. so I prefer to use them with a brush if you have triphobia please skip this because this might give you the jiggity bibbities however you say that word um, this is what the cream bronzer looks like it looks like a very pretty color they had a different shade I believe or maybe not this is in the shade Cafe Usle I'm going to pick some up with this Real Techniques um, contour brush this is from that limited edition little package. And I'm going to sipple it in and then we're just going to apply this to our face. That is so pretty and it blends out so, so nicely. Oh my God, I'm in love. Okay, I must say that I am not a big fan of cream or, yeah, I guess like cream contouring, but I am loving this so much. It is so freaking awesome. As you can see, it looks so nice on the skin. Um, you definitely have to set these because they are cream, so if you are oily, um, they are going to move around, but the way that they blend onto the skin is like, bam, so well. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is the highlighter, and this is, again, a Mega Cushion Highlighter slash Illuminator, and the color the color that I picked up was Who's That Pearl? It is more of a pink-toned um, highlight, but again, it has that same cushiony consistency as the bronzer. Now, I know that this is not new, but they had these back in stock, and I had to pick one up. Um, I picked up Precious Petals because I already have a uh, crown of my canopy, I believe. So I'm going to use these both because I'm so excited. I'm just going to use my finger and apply this at the top is the highest points of my cheekbones. Wow. Pigmented. I'm not flipping you guys off. <laughs> I swear. Now I'm just going to apply the highlighter on top of that to set it. By the way, this is a very pretty highlighter, but I would recommend for you to apply it before you apply any powder because it will get a little bit streaky. Okay, this highlighter is on another type of level. This is like highlight with steroids and some other shit. 
So now on to the actual review. If you guys can still get your hands on these, get them. Oh my god, these are so beautiful. I mean, look at that glow. I absolutely loved the concealer. I did not notice that it creased on me immediately. It really does what it says. It does correct your dark circles or any blemishes that you might have. I really, really, really like this. The only thing that I didn't really care for was the actual wand it is a little bit too small and i did find myself having to dip it in a few times to get more of the concealer onto my face but for the price i can't complain not gonna lie i was actually pretty skeptical about these because again i am not a big fan of like cream products um especially bronzers or contours or contour or cream contours but i really 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 like this one um I like the color. I don't know if they have other color selections, but if you can, get your hands on Cafe Ousle. Definitely pick this up because it is gorgeous and it blends out like a dream. Same goes to the highlighter. I'm not very into pink highlighters, but it topped it off so nicely and it went really well with the highlight that I put on top. So this is another yes. The foundation for me is another must. I really, really liked it. I really like the coverage. I really like how it looks on the skin. It dried to a tacky finish, so I did have to set it. If you don't like to set your foundation um, with a powder, then you might want to skip on this. But for me, for me, I don't mind it, and I'm okay with doing that. Okay, chicas, and that is it. That is my that is my review slash first impressions on these products. If you guys want details and updates, make sure to read the description bar. And also, before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated with all my videos. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Happy holidays.